Glenn, thank you. A massive fire burning tires in DeKalb County took nearly 18 hours to put out. Take a look at this thick smoke right here. It could be seen and smelled for miles. Channel 2 Steve Gelbach went to the site at the old Atlanta prison farm to show you what's left behind. Hours and hours and massive amounts of water finally extinguished the smoldering pile of thousands of illegally dumped tires. It was really bad. There was a billowing thick black smoke. Neighbor and activist Scott Peterson came to the old Atlanta prison farm Sunday night where the smell burned his lungs. The fire burned in the old boiler. It's about a two and a half story building going down. The fire was so intense and the effort to put it out collapsed. The sidewall here, it has crumbled. There's some damage, cracks to the back. Well, it may come down as well. Then you look inside here, these once I beams of steel are twisted up like pieces of licorice. This video, taken at the same spot in the last two weeks, shows tires stacked to the top. I would, I would guess made a 2,000 or 3,000 tires filled up, filled up. Peterson and others pushing the city of Atlanta, who still owns the property, to turn it into usable green space, say they've recently seen a massive amount of illegal dumping. Literally thousands of tires recently dumped here. This video shows before they say the city came and removed an estimated 8,000 tires from the prison farm just a couple months ago, but it didn't stop it. Peterson wants the city to secure the site, now just blocked with a pile of dirt and ground-up asphalt, with no fence, no gate, no locks. But if you really want to get in, you just go down there and drive around it. That's exactly what he thinks happened and led to the huge tire fire, and it had to be big trucks with multiple trips. They go meep, 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 and dump a huge dumped up load of, of tires down in there. Then they go back and get another one and come back and do it again. In DeKalb County, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.